I, for today's tear down, this. A lucky find on eBay, I had the ID to search brands of equipment I have already. And I found this part from a Polish industrial surplus seller, who sells mainly uh, industrial controllers, motor drives and things like this. But he has also some aerospace parts, like uh, voltage converters, things like this. And this part here. I search for, uh, where is it? Svena, a famous uh, French brand of avionics from the 70s. And I found this item. So if you search on uh, posture, word, it is still called in fact. Uh, on uh, Google for Svena B110AM, you will find nothing else but this uh, particular item from the eBay seller and no other result. So is it the only one on the market I have here? Probably. So you can see made in uh, 1980. So Svena was involved in uh, avionics and also missile, including ICBM programs from France and also famous aircraft programs like Concorde. So, what is this? I have absolutely no idea. So it is a box with this particular round shape so that could match uh, a missile fuselage or aircraft fuselage. I uh, guesstimated from the uh, circle here, if it is from a missile fuselage, we should be around uh, 45 centimeters in diameter. So, which uh, missile programs we have in uh, 1980 of this diameter? Uh, not sure about the uh, Mazurka na naval missile, if it is this size. Uh, some uh, ICBM, maybe. Or oh, it is just to fit in the nose of an aircraft. So we will try to figure out by opening it if we can find any information uh, about what it does. For sure it is fairly strong. The cover here has a seal. On the bottom, this particular model of connector. So we should have uh, it is made to match in uh, something and secured here, but no thing to lock the connector. So the connector, uh, the matching plug is uh, attached to whatever it goes on. And I am trying to check. Yes, we have proof of uh, previous uh, bolts on here. So it was removed from equipment. It is not a new old stock. Ok, time to undo this cover and find out what we have in here. Oh, by the way, maybe it could fit also in a torpedo. So we have to check if uh, Svena was involved in torpedo programs also. So, are you ready for the big reveal? What do we have in here? Tada! Ok, cover nothing. A seal all around on this uh, kind of circuit board. So 
You can see the main connector is secured here with flat flex. And what else? We have apparently three circuit boards and one mystery black module at the bottom written U1618 AM with a cyan number. I guess Google will give no result for it. I hope there is something written on the other side and we will be able to figure out what it is, but I see it is a completely sealed module, apparently. So let's undo those circuit boards first and have a look at them. Is it the correct it? Yes. Screws are not tight on this thing, by the way, which is a good thing, except one screw in the case which was a little bit hard to undo at first uh, opening, but yes, I did already open this thing previously because when I receive a parcel with this kind of equipment, I just can't wait the opportunity to show the YouTube video and I have a look for myself most of the time before I do a video. I am guilty, I know. Uh, okay, so one board, we will have a close look on them. Second one, power supply dish, uh, quite complicated to remove. Very little clearance and third board. So we are left with a box with this thing here. We will remove it just after. I guess it may be a temperature control thing. Uh, four wires going to it. Maybe we have a heater resistor or the temperature sensor, the motherboard and if I undo the three screws here I should be able to flip it out of the way and undo the bottom module here. Ok, but first a look at the circuit boards. So, first one, only analog parts as you can see uh, we have a lot of SFC 2101A 8 pin cans so most probably op amps with their resistors uh, some configuration jumpers here you can uh, insert or remove here we have one but here you can see we have no test points also Overside Svena brand, some quality control stamps, conformal coating, but no information whatever about what it does. So, probably responsible for amplifying signals from the black mystery black box. Transistors here, double sided board. So a bunch of those uh, op amps, we have uh, 16 of them, totally, yes, very nice uh, capacitors here, but no real idea of what it does, it looks like we have, yes, metalized holes on this circuit board, look at this, so spare no expense. The second board we removed was this one LM140K and LM120K-15 two relays, uh, bridge rectifiers and a bunch of uh, capacitors so probably uh, local power supply but we still have nothing written on here, what it does, two 
uh, relays from ah oh, it is a new brand for me Wittersburg uh, and there is the French word bobine for coil so it is bobin for coil so it is French brand but first time I see was uh, this brand of relays okay uh, this is national semiconductor I believe little uh, it sinks here okay so at least this uh, part is a power supply but here maybe we have something else I'll just vantage controls but two transistors one CD for zero for seven okay and you can see serial number on this board also very interesting third board more or less the same well at least again uh, here power transistors glass uh, resistors and more op amps on their uh, resistors and capacitor networks one relay dated 79 okay so only analog things for sure in here next uh, let's try to undo this piece here to try to figure out what it does and then I hope it will not be too difficult to access the screws securing this board because I need to undo this module it is coming off, ah, it is in two parts apparently we have this one yes, it seems to be a bimetallic temperature sensor probably Here I expect to find a, maybe a flat PCB with a tracks to do a heating resistor, more or less. Aha, uh -huh. made in USA. And we have a model number. Maybe we will be more lucky with Google. Google about this so probably uh, some track behind it and uh, it is doing some heat to keep control of the temperature in the box now I have to try to undo this unit here will it collaborate it is really a luck the screws are not tight in this thing So the most difficult one would be this one. <coughs> Good. Okay. It would be a pain to put that in place, by the way. But, excuse me, I'm out of time. You can do everything at once. Mm. Not that easy to access this one but it is off, it is good, a little bit of a grounding wire on this one and last one, maybe like this, are you in the frame, ok ok uh, we are still secured by the wires here, apparently this box has uh, seven wires and I can see already at the back here a pipe for uh, vacuuming probably this unit they did uh, 
vacuum heat or put a neutral gas and seal it. So it is completely sealed unit, secured by a first screws we have at the bottom here. I really hope they are not totally stuck. Is it this size? Ah, okay. They are totally loose, this one at least. Which is good. This one also, quite weird. The box still had a uh, locking wire on the cover when I received it, so I know it was not opened before. Okay, so we come off this unit. Yes, oh, we have more wires. Ah, it is wires at the other side. Okay, and no luck, there is absolutely nothing written. So completely sealed, maybe it is nothing else but a transformer inside, in fact. But the cover is uh, welded in place, seems quite uh, heavy. So is it some kind of uh, sensor like uh, accelerometer or something? Or just a transformer, given the weight? It could be a transformer, and also the fact we have a two wire harnesses going to it. The other one has apparently uh, five or six wires, also. So, it could be a transformer with primary and secondary wiring. Why uh, so many wires? If it is three phase, maybe on the ground could be possible ah but we have two wires here four wires even for the temperature control thing so it, it is leaving only three wires for this box so maybe nothing else but a transformer okay so we still have no information about what it does just a box with, uh, oh, if it is a transformer, it is just a, a box with some electronics, very securely made, but no sensor like uh, accelerometer or something like this. Okay. No idea what we are dealing with, but given the shape and the construction quality, we are at least on the aerospace uh, stuff here on the brand of course so could be anything really just uh, up up circuits mounted in a very sturdy box okay anyways the model number will give no information so, unless uh, someone has a better luck at googling than me, or can reconnect this kind of uh, circuitry, what it is for, this box will remain a mystery. But at least uh, it is not too bulky and a nice addition to my collection, I guess. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.